Have you experienced connection issues with your Mavic Mini? In this video, I will show you a hack that can fix it. I will not only show you how to do it, I will also show you how to preserve the settings between flights. So make sure to watch the video to the end. This hack applies to all DJI drones, but the Mavic Mini and the Mavic Air, because of their pure Wi-Fi connection, are more prone to connection issues if you're flying in more polluted areas. I have covered this topic before with the Mavic Air, but for some reason I couldn't make it work right out of the box. But someone told me that it still works if you do it in a specific order. So I made this video to show you how it works after the intro. Welcome to another video, I'm Henrik Olsen and if you want to learn how to uh, make better videos with your drone and camera in general, then uh, consider subscribing and hitting the bell next to it so you don't miss out on my weekly tips, tests and tutorials. I watched a lot of reviews in the beginning with the Mavic Mini and I saw some really solid uh, range tests performed by US reviewers. So I kind of figured that the range uh, wouldn't be an issue. But I started to be a little bit skeptical after I experienced some problems uh, when I was flying in my Mavic Mini on a business trip uh, to the United States. Then I decided to post a video asking you guys uh, if uh, you have experienced any issues with your Mavic Mini just to figure out if it was my drone or it was just a bad choice of location. And many of you actually came back and reported that you also saw similar issues uh, with the bad range and uh, dropped connections uh, to your Mavic Mini. So why are we getting different results? This is likely because the broadcasting power of the drones that are allowed in Europe labeled with CE is much lower than the broadcasting power allowed for US drones under the FCC. This means that the CE drone is much more sensitive because of less broadcasting power to Wi-Fi pollution created typically in urban areas. I have seen a lot of improvement by disabling the Wi-Fi on my phone and flying in areas with less Wi-Fi pollution. So right now, this is not really an issue for me. But there is a way to force your Mavic Mini or any other DJI drone into FCC mode. And as a disclaimer, I do not encourage you to break the local laws. This is only uh, to be used when your drone is stuck in CE mode and you plan to fly in an FCC approved area. In general, I'm not after the range because visual line of sight is a requirement. But a stable connection is crucial for both safety and video quality when flying in a Wi-Fi polluted area. Let me show you how you can see the difference between the CE mode and the FCC mode in the DJI Fly app. Fire up the drone and connect it to the remote. In the view screen, go under transmission. If there's 13 channels under 2.4 GHz, it's in CE mode. If the channels are down to 11, it's FCC mode. You need an Android to implement the initial fix. But once it's implemented, you can continue flying with an iPhone. You start by going to the Play Store and look for a GPS spoof program called Fake GPS that would allow you to set a specific location of your choice. By setting our location to US, we can force the drone into FCC mode. But pay attention, the steps you need to perform needs to be done in a specific order. Then you're probably thinking, what happens if I set my location to somewhere else? Wouldn't that affect the drone performance? No, not at all. Your return to home will still be to the location where you took off with the drone. So no need to worry about that. To do this, follow these steps. Without the phone connected, launch fake GPS and set a location in the US. And confirm it with the play icon. The app will close automatically. Start the remote. Fire up the drone. And connect the phone with the USB cable after the drone has established connection. Launch the DJI Fly app and select the camera view. If everything is right, you will be prompted with the following message. Aircraft resetting wireless network settings to match local laws and regulations. Wait and connect again later. Go under the three dots in the upper right corner and confirm that the channel count has been reduced from 13 to 11, confirming FCC mode. Now the drone has been forced into FCC mode. Are you going to give this a try? Then simply write FCC hack in the comment below. As mentioned, from now on, you don't need the Android phone in case you are an iPhone user. You can just continue using that. But how do you keep it in FCC mode? You simply disconnect the phone before you turn off the remote. This will preserve the settings so you're ready next time you're on location. When you're on location, it's important that you follow these steps in the exact order that are listed. Turn on the remote and drone 
with the phone disconnected. You could have it in the holder, of course, but don't connect the USB cable. Start the motors on the drone by pushing the sticks towards the center low. And then connect the phone. Again, by going under the transmission tab, you will be able to verify with the 11 channels that it's still in FCC mode. It's really important that you follow the order that I just described, otherwise the drone will shift back out of FCC and you would need an Android device again to repeat the process. When you leave the location, you need to do it the opposite way. After you have landed safely, then disconnect the phone before you turn off the remote. How is it going? Have you started uh, editing some cool videos yet? Or do you still need some help? I made a very extensive course on uh, probably the best free editor in the market, DaVinci Resolve. You can access this video through this card. Or do you want to edit some really cool drone photos? I also made a tutorial about that. You can access through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like or share it with somebody you think that could benefit from this too. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be back on the next one.